As I said yesterday, these allegations are false, and I am confident they will be proven false, and I look forward to doing so in court. Do you know who that is? Have you seen that person before on the nightly news or on the front page of the newspaper? I would not be shocked if you told me you had never heard of Bob Menendez, the Democratic senator from New Jersey, who is currently on trial for 12 corruption-related counts, including six counts of bribery and three counts of honest services fraud. Because whether it's the liberals up north of the border or the Democrats down south, the mainstream media will always run cover for their political favorites. If you are familiar with the case, then I apologize, but I do want to lay out the facts real quick. Menendez is a two-term senator from New Jersey, and he was first elected to the upper house back in 2006. Before that, he was a longtime member of the House of Representatives. In 2013, allegations arose that Menendez was improperly advocating for the businesses of one of his longtime friends and donors, Dr. Solomon Melgin. In April of 2015, both Dr. Melgin and Senator Menendez were indicted. Prosecutors allege Menendez asked the State Department to pressure the Dominican Republic to enforce a port security contract that would benefit Dr. Melgin's company. All of this, as prosecutors allege, Melgin had agreed to give $60,000 to Menendez's campaign. Prosecutors also allege that the senator helped personally arrange visas for a number of Melgin's girlfriends, and in return, Menendez accepted lavish gifts, luxury trips, and more than $700,000 of direct and indirect campaign contributions. Contributions that Menendez initially failed to disclose. However, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz believes the case will end in acquittal. He told Newsmax TV back in 2015, quote, This is going to be a very hard case for the feds to win, especially on the issue of a bribery and exchange of gifts, unquote. Menendez has always maintained his innocence, telling reporters after day one of the trial, quote, I have committed my entire adult life since I was 19 to fighting for the people of New Jersey. Never, not once, not once have I dishonored my public office, unquote. If the media coverage does pick up, will it be honest coverage? Well, don't bet on it if the recent New York Times article who mentioned the senator yet failed to mention that he was a Democratic senator is any indication. They only added that he was a Democrat after being badgered into it. And NBC News, in what brief coverage they did give this case, referred to Menendez as a Republican senator on an online article before correcting it hours later. So just imagine for one minute if this was really a Republican senator or someone from the Trump administration facing a corruption charge. You know the trial would be a complete media circus and the coverage would be breathless and 24-7. Bob Menendez is a bit of an interesting political character. He is a more moderate Democrat in the Senate. He has sided with Republicans on a couple issues, including the Iran nuclear deal, and he was against the Obama administration cozying up to Cuba. So it is entirely possible he did not do himself any favors with his own party, the party who happened to be in power when he was indicted. There are some of those who would defend Menendez and suggest that the kinds of things he's on trial for is exactly what they all do up in Washington, D.C. But you know what? Even if they all do this, it doesn't make it right that top government officials lobby for their donors' business interests. Donald Trump was elected to drain the swamp of this kind of behavior. This trial has some interesting political implications beyond the obvious. First, the judge in the case made a pretrial ruling that the schedule of the trial would not accommodate Menendez should there be a vote in the Senate in Washington, D.C. on the same day. And, well, wouldn't you know it, Mitch McConnell is well within his right to schedule Senate votes any time he wishes. So if there is a big vote with slim margins, perhaps Republicans can take advantage of that. And should the senator be convicted and resign or be expelled from the Senate by a two-thirds vote, well, that presents a very interesting opportunity for lame duck New Jersey Governor Chris Christie to appoint not only a Republican senator, but as a longtime ally and personal friend of the president, it is likely that Christie, who will face no political consequences of the appointment, puts in a pro-Trump senator until the special election can be held. Look, this is a major case of alleged corruption by one of the United States' top elected officials. He is the first senator in 36 years to go on trial for corruption, and yet the media coverage does not reflect the gravity of this case. And according to analysis from the Media Research Center, the major networks are still keeping this case off their airwaves as the trial begins. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. 
You just can't trust the mainstream media to cover Democrats honestly. So make sure you hit subscribe to our Rebel Media channel. We'll keep them accountable and tell you the truth about what's going on.